It's always so painful to see your ex with somebody else, really no matter how long has passed since a breakup. But if it's only been a short time, it can feel like a punch to the stomach. You know, how can they move on so fast? Don't they care about you? Did they ever? I'm Brad Browning. I'm an author and breakup expert who spent almost 15 years helping people like you get a second chance with the one they love. Now, if you're on a journey to get your ex back or even just to understand them better, I'm here for you. So please subscribe to my channel for a brand new video like this one every week. Now, in today's video, we're going to talk about how your ex moved on so fast and what it means about their feelings for you. Now, believe it or not, this is actually a really complicated topic because, you know, there's so many variables here. But don't worry, because we'll go over everything and answer any questions you might have. And as a breakup coach, it's actually one of the most common questions I get asked. So I am very familiar with this topic. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that grieving a relationship and moving on to date somebody new is not simple or easy. So first, we have to talk about what it takes for somebody to move on why some people might move on you know, faster than others, and why it might only seem like your ex has moved on for you, because things are not always as they appear. And then we'll talk about your role in this, because your actions do actually play into this even after the breakup, and then we'll talk about what's next. So first off, one of the first questions people will ask me goes something like this. They'll say, you know, Brad, my ex moved on right away and they're already dating somebody new. How could they do this to me? And listen, if you are asking this question, I totally understand where your head is at. You know, it's all so sudden and so jarring that it feels like a personal attack from your ex. You know, like they're doing this just to get back at you and show you that you're not important to them at all. But trust me when I say that this is definitely most likely not on your ex's mind when they do start dating somebody new after the breakup. And in fact, you know, they're doing their best not to think about you at all anymore. Now, of course, this hurts in its own way, but it is understandable, right? You know, breakups are painful, not just because you lose the person you loved, but because it represents a failure in your life. Most exes don't want to dwell on this any more than they absolutely have to. You know, they want to do their best to forget the breakup and by association, forget you. And this, this is one of the big reasons that somebody might appear to move on very quickly. Because they're not so much moving on as they are running away. You know, they're trying to distract themselves with somebody new so they don't have to feel difficult feelings and ask themselves hard questions. You know, they think that if they just find a new partner, they'll never have to really process the breakup, but they're wrong about that. You know, if they don't take the time to grieve the breakup, then all of those difficult emotions are gonna just come bubbling up when they least expect it. And they're gonna compare their new relationship to the one that you had together, and they're gonna wonder why they can't stop thinking about you. And of course, this is why we call them rebound relationships, and it's also why they rarely last more than a couple of months or so. Because, you know, you need to process the breakup before you can truly be happy with somebody else. You can't just run from your feelings. You're just gonna bring all that bad energy with you really wherever you go. So I know that I said that your ex is probably not doing this to spite you, but really that's not always the case. There are situations where your ex will date somebody new specifically to try to mess with you. Now this thankfully is rare, but it does happen. So if your ex is dating somebody close to you, if it's only been you know a week and they're posting it all over social media or they're constantly telling you about how well things are going with this new person, then chances are they're trying to rub it in your face. Now, don't let them get to you with this. Now, this is childish behavior that just shows your ex's immaturity. And it also shows you know, how much they still care about you. To put it frankly, you know, an ex who does this is somebody who's still obsessed with you. And it, does, it takes a lot of time and effort to really actually do something like this. So that means that they're, they're seeing somebody who they don't really care about just for your benefit. So obviously, you are still their number one concern, even if they're coming at you with negativity. Remember, as I often say, the opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference. So if you want your ex back, then this, of course, is a very good sign for you. And now let's talk about another question that I get all the time in regards to this situation. Does it mean that they never loved me? So I hope I've already showed to you that this is all you know, pretty complicated. Your ex may actually be doing this because of how much they loved you. you know, they want to escape from these feelings by being with somebody else, or they want to actually hurt you because they still care. But there are some situations where it does speak to a lack of investment on your ex's part. I'm not going to say that it means that they, they didn't love you or even that they don't still love you, but it can mean that they simply you know, weren't really invested in the relationship like you are. So the question you have to ask yourself is, you know, how seriously was my ex taking the relationship? Because it doesn't really matter how invested you were. You know, I'm sure if you're watching this, you were pretty serious about them and your future together. But you know, look, look back at how your ex treated you. Were you always the one pushing things forward? You know, did they reach out to you or, or were you the, always the one making the, the first move? Did they show you that they were thinking about you when you weren't there? You know, sometimes you look back at a relationship and, and realize that it, it was actually almost completely one-sided. You know, many people are so charming that we mistake it for love and, and tenderness when to them it's basically just a game. 
Now, I'm not saying, you know, it's like your ex didn't care about you at all, but many people will, will sort of keep one foot out the door so that they can protect themselves emotionally. And this means that they, they never allow themselves to connect with another person. Not really. And because of this, they find the relationship unsatisfying since they're not letting themselves get close to you and really progress things. And then they break it off and are able to move on like it, it never even happened. Now, this is unfortunately a very common pattern and honestly, it's pretty sad for everyone involved because your ex never gets the intimacy they want because they won't let themselves and you get a partner who's, who's distant and checked out. Now, another question I get asked is, you know, how long does it take for somebody to actually move on? And you're not gonna wanna hear this because it can actually hurt more than your ex moving on quickly. And that is that your ex had probably been moving on for a while before they ended the relationship. I mean, it's, it's not like they just woke up one day and decided, hey, I don't like this person anymore and I'm gonna find a new one. You know, if you've ever broken up with somebody, you know that it's never an easy decision. It's not something that you wanna rush into without being really totally sure, sure that it is the right decision. You start getting that feeling in your gut that this isn't just, this just isn't the right relationship for you. Maybe it's a matter of compatibility. Maybe your partner's acting in a way that bothers you, but it's not something that you think they can fix. Maybe you realize that you, you just wanna be single right now. And it can take days or weeks for you to actually put words to that feeling and understand you know, why you're feeling it and what it means. And from there, you know, it's not like you just go, okay, cool, I'll, I'll tell them tomorrow. It can be, you know, often be something that you debate for a very long time. Because it's not like knowing that there's an issue means that you suddenly don't like the other person. In fact, it probably changes from day to day. You, know, you can have an amazing date where it feels like you're connecting and you can actually ride that high for weeks. You, know, you think, wow, I was so wrong. We're actually perfect for one another. But soon you realize that having fun together doesn't magically make the issue go away. And you, you can't make this work based on fun alone. And then once you know that it's not gonna work out and you, you have to end it, you still have to get the courage to actually tell them. And all the while, you're still not 100% sure that you're actually making the right decision. Now all this is to say that by the time your ex actually breaks up with you, you know, they've probably been mentally checked out for a good long while. And this is why when you try to fix things, it can often feel like you're talking to a brick wall. You know, your ex is already done. It just took them, them a while to, to actually admit that to themselves. So for this reason, you know, they might seem to be moving on very quickly if they start seeing somebody a few weeks after this conversation, but really they were grieving the relationship while they were still with you. Of course, it's not very cool of them, but it's really hard to see any other way. Now, let's talk a little bit about your role in all of this. Now, I know you probably wanna blame your ex 100% for this. You, know, you want me to tell you that they're a bad person who never cared? Maybe they're some kind of sociopath or just a, a cold, unfeeling person who doesn't care about other people's feelings. But I can't really do that because usually it's just not true. In reality, almost no breakup is 100% one-sided. In fact, in most situations, you actually helped your ex move on through your actions. So first off, you need to consider their reason for the breakup. You know, whatever you did or didn't do that led to their decision is also gonna make it easier for them to move on. So the obvious example here is cheating. You know, if you had an affair, you lied to them, and, and then you got caught, then this is going to be painful for your ex, obviously. But since you betrayed them this way, you know, you've essentially destroyed their feelings for you. And this means they won't have as much regret for the breakup. They won't you know, look back at your time together wistfully and compare their next partner to you. It's just going to make it easier for them to move on more quickly. But of course, it doesn't just go for cheating. You know, if you hurt your ex really in any way, it is going to make it easier for them to move on, at least in most cases. But strangely enough, if the relationship was really toxic, you know, truly a mess, this can actually make it harder for your ex to move on. I don't wanna go into the whole psychology of this, but basically the, the push-pull of a toxic relationship can become almost addictive. You know, you start to associate the anxiety you feel with love, and that can be a hard one to get over. But that's, that's a topic for a whole nother video. Another way that you might help your ex move on faster is through your behavior post-breakup. So if you've begged for another chance, if you've hung around too much, if you've complained to him or her, or you've lashed out at them in anger, really all you've done is just pushed them further away and made it easier for them to move on. Now, these actions might seem pretty different, but they really all tell your ex the same thing. And that is, I'm worthless and you're valuable. You're showing your ex that you're willing to degrade yourself just to try to get access to them. This tells them that they shouldn't waste their time in being sad over you because you're not the catch that they thought you were. And at the same time, you know, it shows them that people want them and are attracted to them, giving them the ego boost that they need to get back out there and into the dating world. So really, you know, keep that kind of stuff to yourself unless you want to push your ex into the arms of somebody else. But what about your ex's feelings for you? You know, do they change how long it's going to take for them to move on? Well, of course they do. And to find out how your ex feels about you right now, I've actually put together a simple five-minute quiz at breakupbrad.com quiz. So head over there now, answer just a few questions, and find out how your ex really feels regardless of what they're saying to you. 
Again, you can take that quiz for free right now at breakupbrad.com slash quiz. So where do we go from here? Well, first you need to ask yourself, you know, what do I want? Do you really want your ex back or do you just, you know, want to move on to somebody new? Is this painful because you wish you could get another chance or is it really just a blow to your ego? You know, what do you want your future to look like? Do you want it to involve somebody new or do you need your ex? Whatever your answers, your first step needs to be following in your ex's footsteps and processing the breakup. You know, just like your ex, you can't run from these uncomfortable feelings. And believe it or not, obsessing over your ex's new relationship is just another way of avoiding asking yourself the hard questions about your role in the breakup. So take your focus off them and place it squarely on yourself. You know, sit with the bad feelings that you're feeling right now. Of course, it's going to suck at first, but it really does help. You know, instead of festering in the dark, those feelings are going to start to fade right before your eyes as long as you're willing to actually acknowledge their existence and where they come from. And from there, you need to figure out your next steps. You know, either you want your ex back or you want to move on. And actually, I'll include links to both videos that cover both of those possible paths forward in the description below. But either way, I promise you will get through this and you will create the life that you're looking for. Believe me when I say that this is just a temporary setback and it's all going to be better before you know it. All right, guys, that brings us to the end. Do you have any questions about what I've talked about in this video? Or maybe your ex is just acting in a way that doesn't make any sense to you? Leave your questions in the comments below and we can figure it out together. While you're at it, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Brad Browning and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.